Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use Photoshop Elements for sublimation printing. Photoshop Elements has three editing modes, Quick, Guided and Expert. For sublimation printing, we will be using the Expert mode. I will start with the tutorial, but before I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking and pressing the notification bell. Let's insert the images that we're going to be printing today. Let's go to File, click on Open, select the image or images that you wish to print. I will select both, then click Open. If you like this design, I invite you to visit my blog. This design is free for my subscribers. If you see these little gray squares, that means the image has a transparent background. This second one doesn't have a transparent background. Since it's white, we could leave it like that. But I will show you how to clean the background using this same program. Click on the eraser and select the one that has a star. Then click on the areas you wish to clean. As you can see, it already has a transparent background. Now let's go to File, click on New and Blank File. Here you are going to select US paper, select the paper size, letter, ligar or tabloid. I will show you how to print on letter size first, then click OK. On the right sidebar you will see the layers we are going to be working with. Now go to Window, Image and tile. If you wish to work on portrait, leave it like this. But if you wish to work on landscape, click here and rotate. Then select the image, go to the layers, grab it and place it on top of the letter size page. Then you may close the image. Now you may resize it to your needs. To resize it, click on the image, then on the corners. You will see the measurements on the little black rectangle on the right. I will print a big design using all the page. When you finish resizing, click on the green arrow. Now, if you need to print a bigger design, go to File, New and Blank File. Here, instead of letter size, we are going to select Tabloid and type the size. If you are using an Epson EcoTank printer and wish to print a 13 by 19 image, type 12 Point 0.95 by 19. Then click OK. Go to Windows, Image and Tile. Click on the big image, then the image on the layer and place it on the blank page. Now resize it to your needs. These designs are almost ready to print. If you like this design, I invite you to visit me on my website. There you may download it for free. The images from my blog are high quality images. Therefore, you do not need to adjust the colors. But if you have an image that needs adjustment, you can fix it here. I will show you a quick example of how to do it. Like I mentioned before, Photoshop Elements give you three editing modes, Quick, Guided and Expert. 
We could adjust the images using the expert mode, but it will take me more time to explain. So I will use the quick mode this time. Select the image you wish to adjust and click on quick mode. Click on fixed screen to show the entire image. On the right, you will see the adjustments. Here you may adjust the exposure, lighting, color, balance, and sharpness. Adjust to your likings and only if your image needs it. Once you finish fixing your image, click on Expert. Now let's move to the next step. Before printing the images, go to Layers, click on the white layer, then click on the eye to remove the background. Let's do the same on the other page. Now the two images are ready to print. Let's print the letter size first. Go to File, Print, and here select the printer that you are going to be using. Click on Change Settings and Advanced Settings. In this window, select Premium Presentation Paper Mat. On Quality, select High. Here, check on Print Preview. Then go to More Options. And here is very important to select mirror image. Then click OK and OK. Now print. This is an example of how it will print. If everything is OK, click on print. Now let's print the bigger design. Go to File, Print, select the sublimation printer, change settings, advanced settings, and here on document size, we're going to select user defined. In this window, we're going to type 12.95 by 19. Then click OK. Make sure it is on premium presentation paper mat, print preview, then on more options, select mirror image. Then click OK. OK and print. Here is the preview. If everything looks OK, click on print. Now you already know how to print images using Photoshop Elements. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, pressing the notification bell and commenting below the video. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.